What do you believe about Jesus? Pardon? What do you believe about Jesus? That he, he's the Father of God, or the Son of God. Pardon. He's the Son of God. He came down to, you know. Is he God? Down. Is Jesus God? Yeah, in the form. He's, he's, he's um. The Father. Do you believe in Trinity? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So Father is the God, Son is the God, Holy Spirit is the God. Yeah. So how many God do you believe? One. One. Yeah. So. It's, it's a hard okay. question. Yeah. yeah. So, is this the one God, the Father? Yeah. yeah. What about the Son and Holy Spirit? Yeah, it's still God. Yeah. But in different form. Like yeah. Him in human form. Like Jesus is God in human form. Yeah. And then Jesus' spirit is the spirit. Yeah. Which is also connected to God. Everything's connected. Mm -hmm. Just a simple question, right? How, one plus one plus one equal to what? Three. Three. So, <laughs> Father is one God, right? Is the Father complete God? Yeah, kind of, in a way. It's complicated because yes... No, no, I'm trying to understand from the rational point of view, yeah? yeah. Okay. And I think you are very intellectual yeah. women to speak about it, right? Why well, I'm saying, is the Father fully God? Yes. Yeah. Good. How many God? One. Is the Son fully God? Yes. How many God? God? One. Is the Holy Spirit fully God? Yes. How many God? One. How many God in total? One. No, I'm saying... <laughs> I answered one to every question, it's one. <laughs> yeah, so if the Father is fully one God, then Son is fully one God. If you say 33%, 33%, 33%, then yes. That's not even 100. Do you understand? So there's a complication. There's, there's, there's a complication. So... Why do you believe Jesus is God? The Bible tells me so. Yeah. Why you <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Jesus never claimed he is God. Do you know that? He said he said he's the son of God. Yeah. But in the Bible, the Abraham was the son of God, Moses was the son of God, Jacob was the son of God, David was the son of God, Lot was the son of God, Abraham was the son of God, Ishmael was the son of God. Many some Israel of the son of God, Israel of the children of God. Son of God doesn't mean anything special because the every single time when Bible says anything about the about any prophet, it says Son of God. You see? So if you mean the children, meaning the creation, yeah, we are the creation of God. I do agree with you. But there is. Can you say we are the literal son? That Jesus is the literal son? No. No. It's not possible. So the word used Son of God for the prophets in the Bible. For example, as I said. Abraham was a son of God, according to the Bible. But all Muslim, all Christian and Muslim believe he was a prophet, right? Abraham was a prophet, one of the greatest prophet. So when you says that Jesus was the son of God, so we understand and Muslim believe he is the prophet. Does it make sense? Yeah, good. So in terms of having triune God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, do you know there there is no verse in the Bible where, where it says. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, three are God. Do you know? Do you know this? Because according to the Christ, today's Christian, who is the only true God? You say Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But according to the Jesus, who is the only true God? Do you know that? The Father. If you go to the John chapter 17, verse 3. Did you read the Bible before? Yeah, go to the John 17, 3. Yeah, John 17. There's three, there's three different chapters. The first chapter. No, John chapter 17, verse 3. Luke. Luke. Which John. One? Where is the John? There's three. Let me show you. So it's one John. Let me show you. Two John. Let me show you. Look. John. 17 3 right which bible you want niv or kjv which one H. niv is okay good is it okay john 17 3 new international version right mm. what it says mm. 
Yeah, only true God is who? The only true God, meaning you, the Father, he's referring the Father, is the only true God. So how can I say or how can someone else say, say Jesus is the God as well? Because Jesus never claimed to be God. He clearly said the only true God is the Father whom is, he was sent. Do you understand? So we believe this as well. We believe the only true God is the God of Jesus. For example, do you believe God has another God? No. no. So according to the Jesus, does Jesus have a God? Yeah. yeah. So if Jesus is God, meaning God has a God. You see? So Jesus never claimed God, first of all. Then he said, the Father is the only true God. Then he said, he has the God. You see? So Jesus is clearing he is not the God. And do you believe God is all-knowing? God is all-knowing. He knows everything. Do you believe yeah. that? Yeah. So if you say Jesus is God, meaning Jesus should be all-knowing, right? Mm -hmm. So is Jesus all-knowing? Yeah. No. Jesus said he doesn't know the last hour. When disciples were asking about the last hour, he said, nobody knows. I, I, does, I don't know. Let me show you this verse as well. Mark, Mark uh, chapter 3, verse 13, chapter 32. Jesus is saying, But about the day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, meaning nor, not Him, mm -hmm. but only the Father. You see? Yeah. So if you say, and I believe as well that God is all-knowing, but in here we see who is the all-knowing? The Father, yeah. not the Jesus. You understand? Do you understand why you don't believe Jesus is God? Because Jesus never claimed, first of all, Jesus never claimed he is the God. Secondly, Jesus has a God. We, don't, we, know, we know that God doesn't have God. Thirdly, God, Jesus is not independent because every time, whenever Jesus is doing something, he is saying he is doing by the will of the Father. Meaning he, he doesn't have the authority to do something without the Father. Yeah? And then we see Jesus doesn't know the last, last hour. If and if he is God, he should be all knowing. Do you understand my point? I get your point. Yeah. So does it make sense that the Jesus, which which things make sense, that Jesus is God or Jesus is one of the greatest prophet of the God? Which one makes sense? It makes more sense that he's the greatest prophet. Prophet. Good. And he is not son. Let me tell you why. Because I said that's the according to the Bible. The Abraham, Ishmael, David, Jacob, all of them were the son of God, right? So likewise, Bible used the term son of God for the Jesus. So it's not something special you can say for this reason. Okay, when you say son, does it mean he is the literal son? No. God will not, God didn't come to the Mary and having intercourse. No, you don't believe. So it's not this son. So what kind of son? It's just metaphor. Bible used the term son of God means the prophet. Do you understand? Yeah. So do you agree that Jesus was a prophet of God? Uh, Which things make sense? It makes more sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So you believe do you believe God is one who created everything? Yeah. Good. But I've just had this conversation earlier with someone else. He said that Jesus is God in a humanly form. Yeah. So I like in my mind it all makes sense. Oh yeah, you because know. Because yeah. you can't you can't just sit there and be like, oh yeah, he's not the literal son of God because it's spiritual. Everything is spiritual. Not, it's, not everything is how it is for me. And but but even... God and Jesus and all of that. I am, of that's what I'm saying. When you say... What? It's, they are just interrupting. That's it. So, yeah. We have a just nice discussion. Nothing else. Yeah. Am I forcing anything to you? No. I, mean, I feel like when you said um, there can't be three gods, it doesn't mean that there's three yeah, gods. It's God himself. It's like an extension of him. It's Jesus Christ. No. So it's still him. No, no. no, no. What, when we say the prophet, we don't mean they are different, you know, they don't have any relation. Yeah. When we say, let me finish. When we say the prophet, we don't mean they, are, they don't have any attachment with the God. Yeah. We say prophet 
has a strong bonding with the God and they are the appointed from the God. We believe that as, as prophet. You understand? We're not saying if someone is prophet, it doesn't mean that he's, he doesn't have any connection with the God. So we say prophet has the most connection with the God than the other human being. And we believe he's a prophet. Like he has the one of the greatest connection with the God. Yeah, your question, sorry. Okay, I have a question. So you're Muslim, right? Yeah. I'm Christian. Mm -hmm. So there's two different religions. Yes. We believe in two different things. Yeah. But some of it is similar. Yes. So what are you trying to do right now? Are you trying to make us convert? Or are you trying to yeah, right. make us understand your religion? Like I don't understand. Because the way you're talking is as if what we're saying is wrong and what we believe is wrong. Good. That's a good point. So as a student, yeah, I was agnostic previously, right? So I read the whole Bible, right? I know what's Bible right, what's, what's in the Bible. I know what's in the Quran as well. So I'm trying to understand your perspective because as a student, I read the Bible. So I know what Bible is saying. And I'm, I, no, no, I'm trying to understand your point. That's the, is it the things you are believing, is it related with the Bible or the belief you get from the church is the out of the Bible. Do you understand? So as I am saying, the Jesus from the Bible, I'm not quoting anything from the Quran so far. Did I quote anything from the Quran? No, I didn't. I am saying in the Bible, in the whole Bible, Jesus never claimed he is the God. So okay. what's the reason you are saying he is the God? Because you need to understand that everything is spiritual. And some people... No, no, no. Your spiritual... Talking, no, no. Who is the head of, head of uh, church? Who is the head of church? Do you know that? Yeah, who is the head of church? Do you understand my question? Who is the head of church? <laughs> head of... <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they are just crazy. They're just crazy. Yeah, they're just crazy. You see, they don't have any shame. You know, anyways. Yeah, leave it. So who is the head of church? You can ask your, you know, uh, any... You go to the church, you can ask them. Who is the head of, head of church? Is the Jesus. Do you understand? Jesus Christ is the head of church. You can ask any of your, you know, religious uh, father or someone. So, if Jesus Christ is the head of church, so should you follow the Jesus or not? As a, as a Christian, should you follow the Jesus? Good. So, if your doctrine, if Jesus said something, can you act against the Jesus, Jesus teaching? No. Okay, good. So, that's the point I'm making. Did Jesus ever claim he is the God? No. He never claimed. Okay. So do, you do you understand my point of view? Do you understand? Good. So I am saying, if you believe in Jesus, you should act upon what Jesus said. But what Jesus said leads us to the God, which is a higher power. In, in like the whole, Jesus just... was very clear who is the only true God, as I, sh as I just show you. Yeah. John 17.3 is saying, but, Father is the only true God. Okay, but this is what happened. Jesus came down to earth to lead people to God, right? So we're going to follow what Jesus is telling us to follow, because obviously if you don't have that relationship with God, you can't do it from God I, I agree with you. So you're going to learn it from the Bible, yes. right? So what you're saying about Jesus is not God, cool, calm. You, you've helped me understand to the uh, point where I'm But there's not more you can say, because to be honest, anybody else you say with the Son, Holy Ghost, Spirit, everything like that, you're not going to change my view on that. I'm not going to change your view. Why I'm saying, just look into it. Nothing else. Okay. I Yeah. I don't have any issues, like whatever you believe, it's your stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't have any issues with that. Yeah. You can believe whatever you want. But I, what I'm saying, that you need to ask yourself, is, is this the reason I'm believing because of Jesus said, or someone just said, and I'm believing blindly? You need to ask yourself, because as I show you just, yeah, Jesus saying the Father is the only true God. But maybe you got the information that Jesus, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are the God. Which is not in the Bible. In the not in the entire whole okay, Bible. So, yeah. So God is the higher power, right? Yeah. And then Jesus is an extension of him in human form. And as a human, you can't be God. Exactly. That's why. And he's when, not gonna say that when he's Jesus God. died, that's his spirit. Exactly. You see, so and that's every, spirit. everything is. So when you die, now. does your spirit die or your body die? Body. Body die. Your spirit, your spirit, spirit always lives. Yeah. So when Jesus died, what what died? His body. Yeah. His spirit. Same. Exactly. Same. That's why same you like you. Have the Holy in so you. same yeah. like you. So by the way, I don't believe Jesus died. As Muslim, we we Muslim don't believe Jesus died. We believe he is in the heaven. God took him in the heaven, and he will come again. Do you understand? Yeah. So there's yeah, there's what, that's there's. That's what happened. That is God, Jesus coming 
Messiah. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. I, I do believe. I subscribe that Jesus is the Messiah. He will come again. Yeah. That's We have the agreement with this. Apple Muslim believes in Allah. Yeah, we believe in Allah. Allah Who is Allah? Do you know? Oh. Allah, Allah means God. Allah is the creator of the Jesus. Oh. And Jesus said, I'm going to your father and my father and your God and my God. So Jesus have a God. So when Jesus has God, how can you say Jesus is the God? And I am trying to show you that Jesus never claimed divinity. Jesus never claimed God. So why should we, should I put the word on Jesus' mouth and say he is a God? Okay. It doesn't mean that's, he is a God. He's God in human form. And as a human, no, 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 no. God in him. Did did he, did he ever say he is a God in human form? No. 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 But as a human, ever... you don't say that. I don't say I'm God because I'm not. You, know, you are not God. God. Yeah. You are not God. He's not a human. He's like a spirit. Exactly. So, exactly. So God is not the human. Jesus was the human. Yeah. Jesus was and the human, human, but the spirit of God is in Jesus. But like, so do you have God spirit? Is, everyone has the spirit. Do you have spirit? Yes, everyone has. So are you God? Everyone has the spirit of. God. <laughs> so so oh, did God. did Everyone, Jesus and then that spirit grows the closer you get to God you understand so, so yeah. there's the same spirit you do have and Jesus have the same spirit what I'm saying. I don't understand you are saying that everyone has the God spirit meaning God is the creator of everyone exactly yeah so I do understand God is the creator of everyone and we are the creation from the God I don't have any any disagreement with that why I'm saying Jesus never claimed God and we can't say Jesus is the God do you understand my point I get your point. Yeah, we, we understood yeah. that five minutes ago. Anyway, sorry. It doesn't mean, yeah. that's the thing. That's what I mean. You said he never claimed to be God. Yeah. But he can't because he's a human. You know? Obviously, God is inside of him. Because he is not God. That's why he didn't He didn't say he is the God. Yeah, but he doesn't need to say that he's God, though. So, so, he said he's the child of God, but you, know, you go ahead. So, do you understand a man can be God? Who? Do you say that? Do you believe a man can be God? No. no? So, Jesus is not the God. He was a man. Was he anything else? What do you think? That's really not the point though, because God... He is a man, but he is... Guys, I told you don't waste your time with these guys. <laughs> you don't listen. I know what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> they, 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 they yeah, they will interrupt. interrupt. Yeah, there's there's the interrupt. thing they do every time. Listen, they just interrupt. The Have some courtesy, bro. Have some courtesy, yeah? Abraham had two sons. One was Isaac, one was Ishmael. Who was their dad? Abraham. Bro, can we have a discussion? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's, that's very, you know. So Abraham had two sons. You don't have any manner, bro. Isaac, one had Ishmael, okay? Ishmael is. I'm a Christian, just like you. But a lot of Christians don't know the Bible themselves. Yeah. All right. So then we can end the discussion. Is that okay? You can discuss with him because we, can, we can't. Bro, you can discuss with them because they are just interacting with the conversation. We did have a very good conversation, but this guy is just. Bro. Bro, can we have a discussion? See what it is, they can't answer tough questions. So what they say... Can you, can you... Yeah, in, 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 in your presence... What trying to say to you? Yeah, can you, can you have a discussion? Say, yeah, but, but... We, 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 me and you, us two have had a conversation with you trying to discuss our, our religion the way we think. You've been trying to help us or whatever... Exactly, yeah. But at the end of the day, we've been having this conversation for how long? All we've got, all we've agreed with, with you, is that Jesus has never claimed to be God. Yes, right? yes. And that, we are going to stay believing in that. Mm. But the rest of the conversations that we're having, it's not going anywhere. And I don't think it will. Uh -huh. That's probably why he stepped in. Uh, uh, obviously, we are trying to... Did problem. he know what, it's, it's what we are discussing? It is, it is rude for someone to just let the conversation take off. Yeah. I understand why you'll be mad at that. But at the end of the day, it's not going to go anywhere. Because we both have different views. So no matter how long we stand here for... You believe what that's you fine. So, what yeah, yeah. So there's what evidence do you need then to show right. that Jesus cannot be God. I mean, if something comes yeah. out and tells you from the Bible that he's not God, well, that's like they show it. Uh, I showed them. I showed them already. We've we agreed that Jesus is not God. So oh, yeah, 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 they, they, they have agreed. Yeah, they have agreed. They, they have agreed. Yeah. Jesus is God in a human form. Yeah. That, that's what we're trying to argue. Yeah. Yeah. You're still maintaining he's God, but you're saying he's God in human form. Because it's yeah. spirit. You just said just now, Jesus is not, you don't believe Jesus is God. Because However, God you said he's God, God in human form. form. Yeah, so you still believe in him as God. That's his basic logic here. Yeah. What I'm trying to say to you, Christ came as a man. It's mention of that in, in, in the New Testament. He does not go around preaching that he's God. Even in this supposed... Human. Bro, did you pray? He would tap in the meantime, I just want you to reason yeah, yeah. the messenger. John 17, 3 is another example, which is what we Muslims say. We Muslims say God is never a man. It makes These no are the channels which you cover. Yeah? So which one are you questioning? All of them? 
Yeah, these are the channels. Okay. Yeah, so you can check. So God is never a man, number one. The Bible testifies, so this is not me saying it, the Bible is testifying yes. that God is never a man. Does it make sense to you that God can come as a man? Think about this before you answer. Because then I could say, if you say yes, then I said, well, why can't God come as a female or as an ant or as a leper or whatever the case may be? It's not befitting of his majesty that he comes as a man or as his creation. And the Bible, like I could say, testifies Numbers 23 19, Hosea 11 9. God is not a man. Are you following what I'm saying to you so far? Then we look at who, okay, who is he then? That's the fair question to ask. Let the man speak for himself. Mark chapter 6 verse 4. Matthew chapter 21 verse 11. It's also mentioned in Luke and John's Gospel that he's claiming to be a prophet of God. No more, no less. Does that make sense? Just think about this, Kev, I'll repeat that once more. Does it make sense to you that a man can be God? It doesn't, does it? I understand what you mean. Yeah, good. So what we say about him was he was a great and mighty prophet, a great and mighty messenger, came as the Messiah to redeem the Jews because they transgressed. So he was there to bring them back to worshipping God and God alone. He met resistance from his enemies, and he, and he, but he still gave glory to God. He says in the Gospels, I do not do my will, but I do the will of God who sent me. Of my own free will I can do nothing. So this shows a limited person who does the will of God alone. Make sense? And this is what Islam is inviting to you. Islam means submission to the will of God, hence you attain peace. So God alone we worship. We don't associate any partners with God. So God is, as I said, not a man, not a woman, not an idol, not a statue. God sends messengers, like in that billboard just behind that brother there. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses. These were prophets sent by God to their communities to bring them back to worshiping God alone. You know about these prophets anyway, don't you? Because so this is what Islam invites you to. We pray five times a day. We worship God and God alone. Do you know the way Muslims pray? Have you seen it? Yes, the mat, but we bow first and then we kneel in prostration to God Almighty, the unseen God. That's also mentioned in the Old Testament as well. This is how Moses prayed. These are prophets in the old, exactly the same way we do. Bowing first and kneeling in prostration. Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 4 to 6. Exact same way. Then before we offer, they, we, do, we do a little wash, you probably be aware of that, finish by washing our feet. That's how Moses prayed in the book of Deuteronomy. So the consistent message right from the time of Adam has been that you worship God alone. God sends messages to guide mankind. Then he sends revelation. The final revelation is the Quran, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace. God's final messenger to mankind, bringing you back to worshiping God alone. That makes more sense than the belief that a man can come as God and then die for your sins so you're not accountable for your actions, he's died. Yeah, Does that... It doesn't really make sense. I understand your perspective. I can't understand yeah. what you say. But at the same time, from what I've heard growing up and the Bible, that he's the son of God, that he is God, same with Holy Spirit. I'm going to stick with that belief, but I get what you're coming Okay, now just, just this last comment. If you're an intelligent young lady, you should be able to think for yourself. What does the term son of God mean in the Bible? It literally means one who represents God. It doesn't carry any divine connotation. It's defined, the definition is given in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. It says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Anyone who does God's work is referred to as a son of God in the Bible. John 10, 34, Christ says to the, uh, his uh, interlocutors, isn't it written that you are God's? So whoever does God's work is referred to in that particular term. It doesn't carry a divine title. The title God the Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity, is never mentioned of Christ in the New Testament. You notice Son of God versus God the Son. The term Son of God is never used for Christ. So the term God the Son is not used for Christ in the Bible. Son of God is a widespread title for many people. Luke 3.38, Adam is the Son of God. Exodus 4.20, you see where I'm coming from? So you see the confusion that this is caused. One minute you've got him as God, next minute he's Son of God. I mean, what's going on over here? It is confusing. So what I want you to do is reflect upon what I've just said. There was a very famous musician once, his name is Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah? he was a, a, a music. He once said, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool other the people all of the time. So that means that you this belief that man is God, he, he put it in one of his songs as well. It's a perverse belief. So this is what Islam brings you back to. You get people of different ethnicities and colors who are becoming Muslims. In the background, you get Englishmen, Afro-Caribbean people, people of all different ethnicities. They're coming towards this religion. You, I'm sure, are you aware of any people that you may know who become Muslims? You're not, you're not sure yourself, but I can assure you, watch our channels. 
so Actually, many people. I know some of the people oh, you know. They were saying the same thing to me. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? They say exactly the same thing. So what I would invite you to is just to consider some of those points that I've raised to you. Thank you. I can give you a free copy of the Quran in English if you would like one, free of charge. We're giving it out to the public for free anyway. You can read it at your own leisure and it's a good source to have if you want to reference it. I don't see why you should feel disrespect. It's always good to have extra additional information. I've got a Bible at home. I just you know, scour it through whenever I need to. You can have a read through it and just see if it makes sense. It's not harm, it's free of charge. It's not going to say, oh, you have to read me. You read it when you want to. Go ahead, yes? Let me give you a copy. Okay, that's good. Hey, can I have a Quran, please? Jazakallah. Okay, so that's a free copy of the Quran in English for you. There's some extra information. Have a read. We're here regularly um, on Saturdays between 2.30 and 9 o'clock. Come over and ask any questions if you want to. Okay, nice speaking to you. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, so we got a young lady, a couple of young ladies here who were speaking to the brother earlier on, and it's um, obviously a matter of their, their personal belief. So we respect them. We're not here to pour scorn. It may appear sometimes we overgo on the Bible, but it just gives an indication that they need to read their own texts in order to understand what the texts are saying for themselves. This is very important. So we can see as we were speaking to the young lady, she began to realize that some of the beliefs that she may hold may appear somewhat you know, uncertain. You know, she's a very friendly lady and I hope that she can reflect on the points that we've made. And inshallah, Allah as always, inshallah, guide them all. Assalamu alaikum.